Hey everybody, this is Patricia and welcome back to my channel. It's another chatty get ready with me on Friday. Yay! Um, so let's get started. First, let me just say I'm wearing a sweater because it's cold. Yesterday I had shorts on because it was hot. And as the day went on, it started feeling cooler. I was turning ceiling fans off and then woke up this morning cold and I got the heat back on. And it's April. This stuff's supposed to be gone by now. Oops, I didn't grab my mirror. Grab my mirror. Ooh, knocking everything. But yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Let me put my foundation on. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Oh, here we go. As you know, I've already did my primer, did all my skincare, my primers, and all that good stuff. So. I did wax my eyebrows yesterday, and you can see they're a little irritated. They haven't been irritated in a while from waxing, so I don't know. I got it a little hot. Let's see what we're we gonna talk about today. Oh, I have a busy weekend planned. I do, I do. Um, on. Sunday is my niece Elizabeth's birthday party. She is four. She's the youngest niece I have. She's going to be the last niece or nephew I have. I have great nieces and nephews older than Meredith, uh, than Elizabeth. So she's the, she's the last one. She's the baby. She is the daughter of my husband's brother. And his wife. My husband's brother is a lot younger than my husband. Kind of like what it is in my family, but um, yeah, he's he's a lot younger, so his kids are younger. Meredith is Meredith's twelve this year, twelve or thirteen. I am not sure, and then. Elizabeth is four. I think Meredith's going to be 12. Yeah. Crazy. My monkey's head is crooked. There we go. Got my monkey earrings in today. These are um, Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson earrings. So yeah, that is what we're doing Sunday. Monday, I did not get to spend Easter with my family. I spent it with my husband's family. So my sister Melissa, my younger sister who lives in Georgia, she's up now. She is up at my our sister Alice's house. She's at Alice's and uh, she, so on Monday, we're going to go down and have lunch with her and hopefully um, a lot of my other sisters, I don't know if everybody will be able to come, but my sisters and we're going to go have lunch down in Anderson, South Carolina. Because that's where the majority of them live is in Anderson County. So my um, sister Juanetha and Mima live in um, a little town called Belton, which is in Anderson County. Also, my little niece, Natalie. Natalie is 10, I think. She has a YouTube channel. And she wants to do a collab with me. So we might try to, if we've got time... We might try to do a little something. I'll figure it out. So I might put a video up. I don't know if I'll put it up on this channel or if I'll put it on my travels channel. It probably doesn't fit into either category, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what how much time we have. 
My son wants to go shopping. I don't know if we'll go shopping before or after our visit. I'm thinking maybe before. Go down early and let him shop. That way we can visit as long as we can and not have to rush to come back home. My eyes are looking awful white. I know I use my white, um, not my white, but my light, sharp, sharp, shape tape. Hello. But, um, I don't know. They look, we'll see how everything looks after I put everything on. It seems a little, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just keep going. We will just keep going. Uh, so yeah, that's going on on Monday. So uh, that's the only excitement I know. Who knows what will happen. I'm considering doing a little shopping. I know, I said no buy. But my husband, my husband gets his bonus. And you know, I keep telling myself, okay, we have trips planned. My son's birthday is this month. Uh, Nathan will be 16 on the 24th of April. So I've got my son's birthday. In May is our wedding anniversary and we're going to Pigeon Forge. I don't need to be buying makeup. No, that's it. I'm not buying. I'm not buying makeup and skincare. I don't need it. Do I want it? Gosh, yes, I want it. Uh, no, I'm not buying anything. I've got a hundred dollars worth of products in my cart on Sephora.com. Do you guys do that? Yeah, I got about a hundred dollars worth of stuff picked out. All skincare, by the way. All skincare. So, I don't know. I might treat myself to a little something, but I don't. I don't know. I'm back on my. Well, I won't say diet. I'm back to really being strict. I can see it a little bit in my face. I gained weight. I gained about six or seven pounds. I'm back down to where I was before I gained that six or seven pounds. And now I want to keep going down. So, I'll make another weight loss video when I have something to to talk about about it because I just I don't like coming on and just saying you know what I gained weight but yeah I gained weight I could see it in my face so but when I weighed this morning it looked I the scales had gone back down and I'll talk about what I'm doing I changed up something and I'll talk about it in that video well, I'll talk about it with you guys now, you know, because I don't know when I'll film a video again about weight loss. I've stopped eating after, um, I stopped eating after 6. I will not allow myself to eat anything after 6 p.m. No more eating after 6. I can drink. I'm not talking alcohol. I mean, I'll drink herb teas. I will drink, you know, my regular tea, uh, water, lemonade, whatever. I'm allowing myself to drink after 6 o'clock. So if I want something, I have to drink it. <laughs> and I think that's really, that is really working. Because at night is when I have my biggest issues. My issues are wanting to snack from like, Five o'clock on, I just want to eat. All day long, I can go with barely eating or not eating at all, truthfully. But you get five o'clock, and man, and if we sit down to watch TV and a commercial comes on and it's food, I want it. And it's all psychological. It is. So, I know now. No eating after six o'clock. And it's working out good. Who would have thought it, huh? Who would have thought that no eating after 6 o'clock would help me lose weight? Well, I've heard it before. I just chose to ignore it. Got a lot of powder here. Mm. 
So what else can we talk about? I've uh, upped my exercise also. My family and I did a little hike off the Blue Ridge Parkway and I made a little video. It is on um, my travel channel. I'll link my travel, travel channel up here. Um, it's not much. I am trying to learn how the, to vlog. Vlogging is so much different than sitting here and talking to you. And so I'm doing all I can to practice that before I go on my trips so I can make really good videos um, for my trips, you know? So, yeah, just keep that in mind. My, my vlogging is not as good as just sitting here and talking to you guys. I think the Nashville trip is still going to happen in the summer. So yeah, I gotta save money for that too. Yeah, no buying makeup. I don't need makeup. You know, I watch other people's videos and it makes me want to shop. But I'm going to be good and use what I got. Because I have plenty. I have enough to last a lifetime just about, you know? I don't need all these products. I just want them. So we are going to do videos without doing like hauls and I'm saying that now I'm, I'm saying it with good intentions. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But yeah, I don't need to be out spending money like crazy. Okay, I'm trying to think of what to do for my son's birthday. He doesn't have a lot of friends. He doesn't have any friends um, that are like his age. He's got some cousins, but not a lot of friends, friend friends, you know, not like a normal teenager would. So we gave up birthday parties, I don't know, when he's about 10, around there, because um, it was mainly we were inviting our friends and their kids. Well, just because we're friends doesn't mean our kids are friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we stopped doing that. And uh, we started taking him places for his birthday because he really enjoyed that and making his birthday special by going somewhere. So we're trying to decide this year, I think we're going to go to Carowinds. I think I'm making up my mind right now as we're speaking. Carowinds is a theme park. We have, I used to, man, when I was a teenager, preteen teenager, I was at that park all summer long. It's in Charlotte. It's like a Six Flags. It's uh, owned by Cedar Park, I believe. Or it used to be, I don't know. But um, I'm using the e.l.f. primer that Martha gave me. Uh, but um, anyway, I, uh, I think we'll go there. It's roller coasters, and he's really gotten into roller coasters now and rides, and so... I think we'll go there, and if we do, I will vlog it and put it on my travel channel. So we'll see. We'll see. I think I made up my mind right now. Now, I'm going to use this BoxyCharm and Pure palette. I want to see if I can come up with something different than what I've been doing with it. I'm going to take do I want this brush. Yeah. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. It says a crease brush, but I, I like it to lay down my base. And I always go for perfect in this palette because it is a light matte. So I'm going to put that all over. So yeah, we'll go to Carowinds. I'll ride the roller coasters with him. My husband doesn't do roller coasters. My mother-in-law wants to go with us, whatever we do. So, uh, she doesn't ride rides either. She doesn't. Uh, we did get her on. She went with us to um, Disney. Well, she's gone with us, I think, our last 
couple trips to Disney and Universal. This last trip was her first time at Universal. And um, my son's first time at Universal. And we actually got her on the King Kong ride. And she actually liked it. It was out of her comfort zone. But we put her in the middle of the seat. And she loved it. So yay, Kathy. Got to get her more, you know. I don't think I'll get her on a roller coaster. But I have gotten my husband on some roller coasters and things that I didn't think he would ride. But he actually ended up liking. So, But roller coasters are not his thing either. Um... I'm going to go into, I've been using Nike because I just like that color, but I'm going to go into Belle. I'm going to Belle today and do my transition. And I'm going to use that same brush. Because this was made for, it's made for the crease. <laughs> but I'm just going to put it like above the crease, in the crease and above. So, yeah, I think we're going to go, I, th I think I've made up my mind. I think we'll just go to Carowinds for the day. I think that'll be fun. They have a water park, too, but I don't think we'll do that part. But, truthfully, here in the south, I don't think the water park will open until May. Oh. And in April, well, this is April. <laughs> this month, um, Carowinds is only open on weekends. But I think Fridays they're open, so... We're going on a Friday. I need to just go. I need to plan that right now. My husband's got to take the day off. My mother-in-law's got to take the day off. We're going on a Friday when it's less crowded. And I read they do have an autism. A pass sort of like Disney World has in Universal. I want to check that out. Not just for my son. But uh, for because I am a certified autism travel specialist. I can help other families. So I, want, I got to try that out. So yeah, we're going to Carowinds. Made up my mind. That's what we're going to do for his birthday. Go to Carowinds. Ah, oh, I like that. Looks nice. Looks nice. Should I go get my niece out of college? Yeah, it's a, I don't know if she's got school that day. <laughs> my niece goes to Winthrop University, which is in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I think she's in the graduate program now. She's been, gosh, I don't know how many years now at Winthrop. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know if she has school or not. We took her out of school one year for Nathan's birthday. We went to South Park Mall. And we went to Cowfish to eat. So, what am I going to do now? I always put Charmer. I would like to get more looks out of this palette than, you know, always use this, always use this, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to use something else. But Charmer is not, like the only really shade, I don't know. That Alliance is different. I'm going to go into Alliance, and let me grab a... Uh, like a paddle brush. And let's see what this looks like on my lid. It's like a... It's a gold with like green in it. Like an antique gold, probably. Put that on my lid. Yeah, I don't know if I should mention it to Anna. She's she's doing student teaching, so she's probably teaching. Um, so, yeah. We will skip that. I won't tell Anna. Back when we took her out of school, she was... It was not a big deal for her to miss that day. But now, it may be a big deal. I have a little more control over this one. I'm dabbing it, dabbing it in Duet, which is this brown. And I'm going to work that on my outer V and up into my crease. And 
and then I'm going to blend it. Yeah, Anna was working at Carowinds part time, but I don't think she is anymore. I think school got too much. My two of my other nephews who live down near Charlotte, um, when they were teenagers, they worked at Carowinds, uh, but they are now um, grown, <laughs> grown with families. Um, My nephew Daniel is, I think, right at 40 years old. If not a little, oh, he's over 40. Shoot, he's almost as old as my husband, I think. He might be one year younger than my husband, my nephew. Oh, can you believe that? And then his brother is f four years younger, I think. Ah, oh, this is turning out really pretty, isn't it? Wow. I kind of like this glamour. I like this look. I seem to be working on here. Hmm. Blend a little more. That looks pretty. Grab my detail brush. I'm going to take that duet and run it under my lower lash line. Just on the outer corner. Hmm. Actually quite like that. I like that a lot. Okay. What else am I going to do? I'll take a clean finger and go into Charmer. And I'm going to put it on the... Dab it here in the inner corner. And I like when I dab with my finger, it gets down underneath too. So I kind of like that. I won't go too wild though. Do I need it on the center of my eyelid? I probably do. A little. Not a lot. I don't want to lose that color that's underneath. So I'm not going to use any of the crazy colors or anything. I'm just going to leave it at that. I really need some brow gel. I need to get my Gimme Brow again. That's not a need, actually. <laughs> That's not a need. I don't actually need it. I, I'm going to grab some liners. Okay, I tight lined the top with Teddy, and I tight lined the bottom water uh, rim with ColourPop's Crybaby. And I haven't used this in a long time. It's a soft lilac. Can you see that? I don't know if my lights are too bright. There we go. Okay. So now mascara. Mascara. I didn't pull out a blush. I think I'll skip blush today. I've been skipping it. And just using um my bronzer. I think I'll just do that again today. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I do since I do have a little spot under there. When that happens, I get like a stiff petal brush and then I a clean one and I rub carefully where that mascara went and it takes it away. There we go. Am I bright enough? 
There. I thought it looked awful dark again. There we go. Is it too dark? I mean, too bright? Now, it's time for some bronzer. It looks bright, doesn't it? Grab my bronzer brush. Always add it down here. Anything to hide that double chin and smooth out that line there. Oh, I love the smell of this. It smells like coconuts. There we go. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Now, highlighter. I've got my Becca Opal. And let's put that on. It's pretty. Into my nose. And keep his bow. Now, the big question is what lipstick? What lipstick am I going to use? Okay, I'm going to put some dramatic lips on. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty uh, lip pencil in Trophy Wife. These lip pencils are so nice. They are so nice and creamy. You could actually j just purchase the lip pencil, put it all over your lips, and you could wear it just as a lip like that, or you could put a gloss over it, or these Huda Beauty ones are really nice. Now for the actual lip color, I'm going with Showgirl. So we're just going to... We're going to darken it up here. This is glittery. I love this. Ah. Uh. What a beautiful shade. What do you think? I think that looks good on me. All right. Let's take my hair down and see how it's doing. Did you guys see where I dyed my hair with the Madison Reed? I'm loving it more and more. I am loving it more and more. The color is gorgeous. I think I know what I need to do now. I need to get the number 10 instead of the number 9. So I'm going to order next the number 10. And I think, because normally my hair dyes, I use a number 10. So I think a 10 will get this dark darkness and uh, give me that uh, cool icy color. And I am going to get the... For long hair, or really thick long hair, you can get an extra tube for 10 bucks to do all your hair. So uh, I am going to shell that out. Now, the hair dye is 20, and so an extra tube makes it 30. Um, I know that's a lot for dyeing your hair at home, but it gives you a salon professional look, and I cannot believe how silky, shiny, and soft my hair is. I wish I had gone all the way to my ends because my ends are not as silky and shiny as the rest of my hair. So that's why I think I'm going to go and going to go, uh, go online and purchase uh, the number 10 and uh, the extra tube and do all my hair. Uh, and when I do that, I'll tell you guys about it. I'm not going to have you sit through watching it again. But, uh, yeah. 
I'm going to do that. I'm going to dye it all and see what I get. But I'm loving the two colors right now. Having the, it's almost like the ombre kind of with a more golden and icier at the top. So, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving my hair. So anyway, enough about the hair. What do you think of the look? I think that turned out really pretty. I think that's a pretty look. Not a lot of color in it. It's that that antique gold with the brown. It just it just looks it looks nice. So, don't want to say that word anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. I love it when you give me a big thumbs up. That means you really like what I'm doing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You know I answer all of them. I read all of them. I answer all of them. Uh, if you have any suggestions for videos, anything you want to see, anything you want for my Saturday quickies, I'm taking suggestions for that. I think that's turning into um, something that is like a, a viewer request kind of thing. Uh, what would you like for me to talk about or show you? Um, and I am enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. So, uh, yeah, leave me some some uh, some feedback down below on that one. Um, I am enjoying making videos more and more. And uh, I don't know. We'll see where this goes. But I'm really, I'm having a ball. And I love that I've made so many wonderful friends on here. And a lot of you only know you by your little picture. Your little picture. But I, I feel I know the real you. Not the outside, but the inside. And I don't... God, I must be emotional. I'm starting to cry. Don't cry. But I, I really am loving all the friendships I'm making with this. So if nothing else happens... I'm making some wonderful friends uh, filming and making these videos. So, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Anyway, I better go before I start bawling my eyes out. But thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. I do appreciate and love each and every one of you. So, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you next time.